So Q of the day comes to us from my man, Medic. I do like Medic, he's kind of like me. Yeah, he was a Medic, obviously I was the same thing. We both got gray in our beards and that's just how it is. But um, he has a good point here. And I had talked about this in another video, but I wanted to make it crystal clear is that he says, hey Dan, well, yet another safe gimmick. And he's talking about the ink that is uh, uh, being produced by this ghost pen. So let's jump in the office. This was pre-recorded a while ago, but uh, I think it's good to note right now. So let's jump in and- hey, Welcome uh, back to uh, Q of the day. And actually it's, it, it's not so much really a question, but it is a comment and it's a pretty good one. So uh, this was actually after we did a video and we talked about the stone book or the shield folio. And uh, you know, I like it, I like to use it. Uh, it seems to save me a lot of heartache because I don't want to lose all my cryptocurrency. There's a lot of different things out there, but uh, it's a low-tech option. I like it. So this is from my man, uh, Medic, RVN Medic. And uh, I, 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 like, I like this guy because he does, uh, he's just like, like I am. He's an, he's an old medic and got a lot of good things to say. So Medic, thanks so much for this comment. It really put things into, uh, into light. And he states, he goes, yet another safe gimmick. Does the manufacturer have an estimate of the like expectancy of the disappearing ink? It might be gone in one year. Who knows? Um, and before we move on, what he's talking about is that uh, the Shield Folio product is it's just a it's a lightweight pocketbook that is tear resistant, tear resistant, water resistant, tamper resistant, and you put in all all your seed phrases and mnemonic phrases and passwords. And uh, it has two forms you can do it in. You can write on it, and then also there's this thing called a ghost pen, which has a specialty ink which when you run it under black light, you can see the actual thing that you're writing on. So that's exactly what he is. And he has a good point here, which is, hey, how do we know this won't just disappear in like six months, a year, two years? So it, it is a good point. And then he says, I hope you got this uh, gratis or free to test, but it seems every time a safe wallet comes out, you have one. Uh, medic, that is true. Uh, people send me stuff all the time. And uh, I, I got to tell you, I, I show you guys a quarter of what I get actually get sent. He says, I'll pass on this one, just like the money I spent on a Ledger Nano. I said, well, Medic, where do you, where do you uh, store your, your passwords? And he says, hey, uh, in, our, in our home safe on a seed card. So it comes down to this. Everybody's different, and they have their own little styles of way to do things. Medic has a rock-solid way to do it. You know, he's got a seed card he puts in his, in his uh, safe, and that's good. Some people do something else, but this is what I do, and maybe this is for you. So I reached out to uh, the founder and CEO of uh, Shield Folio or Stonebook, and I asked him that question, and he is on today. Freddie, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. How's it going? Glad to be here. Uh, hey, everyone. <laughs> Great. All right, Freddie. So that's the question. Um, we have this ink. We have to trust it. How long is it going to last, and how is the whole process? How did you test it all out? So walk us through it. Okay, so the ink is is a UV ink, transparent ink, a uh, fluorescent ink. Um, it has built in it. It's permanent. It's waterproof, and it has a super glue uh, solution in it that binds to the stone paper to make sure it actually could last a lifetime, super, not multiple super, lifetimes. A super, super glue, glue. Like, like ape yeah. strength style? Yeah, like ape strength style. <laughs> it's, <laughs> gotcha. it's, it's, it's one of the strongest glue out there. So it's, uh, it's, it doesn't come off. It's waterproof. Um, it's something that's not out there in the market. It's like possibly the strongest invisible ink you could find. Um, and it works perfect with the stone book. Great. Now, now you were talking about... On the middle, but no. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about working with, with a chemist before when we talked, because that was the big thing. So how did that all come Yes. Uh, we were just working with a chemist, uh, trying to get the solution right, making sure the ink doesn't dry out uh, after a certain amount of time, because we're using super glue. And we actually came up with this super strength solution and it's, like I said, the strongest, I believe the strongest out there and then right you, now. That's, you know. Gotcha. And you said that you were doing, you were testing it against permanent ink, like black marker ink, and you would rub it with what kind of solution to, to wipe it off? Uh, with an alcohol wipe. So oh. I was rubbing it off and you could actually wipe off the Sharpie permanent marker, uh, black ink more. Actually, you could wipe most of it off compared to the ghost ink inside the ghost pen. So that's how strong this, because uh, it has that glue solution inside it, it really doesn't rub off. Okay. Um, and it stays fluorescent, I mean, like I said, for a, life, for a lifetime. Awesome. 
Yeah, because that, that's a big thing. If it can last, <laughs> I mean, everybody's, we'd like to use it. So uh, I am, right. I'm still old school. I'll, I'll do it. I played around with it. It was like James Bondish, very cool. But uh, yeah, okay, I, I cool. like it. So I see it. But there was another technique that you were talking about and I had never heard before. So tell us about this. This uh, What was it called? Squirly? It's called, uh, I think it's called squirling with your wallet. Squirling. So what it is, is uh, you actually have, like in the notebook, if you use this, uh, the stone book, for instance, you can actually write uh, the real mnemonic phrase, the high-valued wallet mnemonic phrase with the ghost pen inside, um, you know, inside the page, right? So, and what you do is in front of it, since you can't see the invisible ink, you write uh, not a fake wallet, but a low value wallet, you know, something with like 30 bucks on it. Okay. okay. So that way okay. you write it with a ballpoint pen that's noticeable, that's seen. So that way if somebody steals your book, they can actually, the first thing they're going to do is unload that wallet. And that's going to uh, uh, send you a notification. If you sign up for notifications with Etherscan, create an account, and you could attach the address to get notifications there anytime a transaction goes in or out. So right away, once you get that transaction, um, once, once a transaction goes through, you know somebody grabbed your notebook because that's probably the first thing they're going to do. So I got if you. you have a second notebook, go out there and unload that really valuable crypto <laughs> that you have. So, yeah. Yeah, so when, when I was wrapping my head around, I go, I've never heard of that technique. I mean, for safety, it makes a lot of sense. So on the one page, we're going to write an ink, regular ink, the one of the wallets that you have, a low-value wallet, maybe with yes. you know, $30 worth of tomato coin or whatever it is. Right? Yeah. And then on the back page, you're going to write in the ghost ink, which is the one we we're just talking about with the grill. And then of course people see that if they ever take your wallet and they actually know what the heck is going on, they're going to say, Oh, right. okay. So this is it. They're going to, uh, um, get that wallet. They're going to download it and like, okay. And that's it. You're saying we do something like that. And then we actually on my ether scan, is it my ether scan? Is that what you said? Ether scan. Well, sorry. It's yeah, ether scan.io. We can actually put um, the uh, wallet ID in there and track it, and, and we can see all the transactions. Well, right. Right. So here's what I'm going right. to I'm going to show you something right here. So okay. this is uh, it's just a quick example, but like let's say it's filled up with the whole mnemonic phrase, yeah. but in the back you're able, I don't know if you can see, you're able to write behind it. Ah, that's crazy. So that's where you store the real uh, high value, you know, Ethereum wallet. Or, you know, whatever wallet you want to hide. And, um, and then the front, it's yeah. just a decoy. And that's yeah. what, yeah, because someone in the, in the comments section, I'm glad I actually read the comments. Uh, they said, Hey, <laughs> I've got, I've got two books. One I keep at home for it. Cause I mm -hmm. want to do these things. But if that one gets destroyed, lost, stolen, or something like that, I have a second one at my bank in my safety deposit box. And I was like, no, that's a pretty good idea. That's why I actually ordered the good. second one from you. So, okay, I get it. So walk us, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen so people know what the heck we're talking about. Walk us Got through it. the whole Etherscan thing. So let me share my screen. Okay. So my man, here we are. So we're on Etherscan and you have to have an account. If you don't have an account, just click right there for sign in. It'll ask you, you know, hey, do you want to create an account? You sign up. I've already signed up. I'm going to log in. Yes. Okay. Hey, there I am. Dan Digital Asset News at Gmail. Okay. <laughs> Freddie, walk us through. What the heck are we doing? You're going to go to address watch list. It's in the middle. You're going to click the magnifying glass. Yeah. Got it. And then from there, you're going to add your wallet. And that's going to be the decoy wallet that's written with the normal ballpoint pen that's going to be seen. So you're okay. going to add that address in there. Got it. So, so, just, so what I'm going to do to show you, like here is my, this is my Brave browser wallet. I've got a, a pretty <laughs> hefty amount almost. So what I'm going to need <laughs> to do is find, this is the address that you want, right? So I'm going to copy okay. this to the clipboard. Yeah. And and for you watching uh, the video, this is whatever your your address is. He's going to put it right there. Okay. And then description. I'm just going to put Brave Browser. Whoops. Walletto. Okay. And then for here, you're going to go ahead and click Notify Incoming Actions. Okay. And then that's oh, it's it's the one on top of it actually. So you can get yeah. Oh, incoming outgoing. Okay. Yeah. And then also track. also track. Yeah. Okay. And then continue. And the alerts will come through your email. So Perfect. you successfully added that to your watch list. So anytime there's a transaction, mm -hmm. you know, if you lose your notebook, you know if somebody's actually got your crypto, um, you'll get 
hey, this got sent out. And uh, that's where, that's the address you use, the decoy address. Behind that actual decoy address, you, you're you writing down in the page with the ghost pen. It's a good tip to have out there just to stay secure. So if uh, you watch this, just know that you can go right to shieldfolio.com and find it. Or you can, what I always do, is I, sometimes I forget, I, I put in Stonebook and cryptocurrency. However, if you go in the description, you can get 15 of every one of my videos. It'll look something like this. And then when you click on that link, it'll give you 15% off. All right. Well, Freddie, we really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Product is great. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much. And uh, that is it for tonight. Thanks. Thanks again for uh, being on the show. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. I'll cool. see you. All right. That's it. So thanks for sticking with me for the whole thing. Um, again, you can find uh, the link in the description below, along with many others. If you're uh, interested in those types of things, I, again, I've got a couple of those books, so uh, I totally uh, believe in them. Also, if you don't know, I have a second channel. And the reason I, I created Dan Clips was for two reasons. One is because some of I talk a little bit too much. So I like to break things down into clips so you can just see like little six minute, seven minute clips instead of going through the whole 30 minutes to find what you're looking for. Second reason was it's like a backup channel because YouTube at any time just go, you know what, Dan, we don't like your channel, get out. And uh, they could shut me down. So have to have some kind of backup and this is one of them on top of, the, of my Theta channel, which I really need to get back into. We just came over from El Paso to Houston. We're going to be in Houston for the next three to four weeks. Then I'll go back. So a lot of things going on. But uh, that is it. So uh, again, thanks for sticking with me. Really appreciate it. And uh, I will uh, see you on the next one. Dot, dot.